everybody, this is Praxis, and I just wanted to show you the bathroom tile work that I was doing yesterday before we head down, and I show you some more stone work. Uh, you can see all the grouts in, and I've just been giving pass after pass, you know, every couple hours yesterday of just clean water, just trying to get that up off of the, the surface. At this point, uh, none of that dust is stuck there. Uh, I just, it's going to be a matter of you know, washings and trying to keep the walls as, as uh, clean as I can. I've got tape up there, but, you know, gosh, you know, if I made the tape go a little bit higher, it might have been easier. But anyway, that's that. Let's go downstairs. And what I'm working on downstairs is just more of the stonework uh, here. I'm just about to put in another piece of stone uh, right in this area. This one I just set in place right there. And wipe that concrete back a little bit. Uh, like I said in an earlier video, I can only do one course at a time. I've got a piece that's actually ready to go right in here, but I don't want to be putting weight on this stone until that one's all set in place. So the next one is over here, and the first step is just stuff from yesterday. Just give it a nice wetting so that the concrete gets a nice bond to it. Uh, the, the piece of stone is this one right here, and I want to put in. It's going to it's got a little angle here that'll kind of check right into there. I think that'll work out pretty nicely. I've got a whole pool, uh, like a kid pool, full of these things out there so I can kind of look at all the different size stones and uh, different shapes and you know figure out what I need. I've got more stone than I need for the job because you know not every piece is going to get used because you got to find pieces that have the right shape. For this one, since this one's not too tall, I'm not going to bother doing a bunch of uh, pushing up of the, the mortar on the back. I, I might just do just a little bit here at the bottom, but most of that's going to get filled in just by dropping the concrete in from the top. All right, that's, just want to agitate it a little bit so it goes down and fills in the voids on the rock below. The rock above is going to be moving, but the rock below is set, so I want to just give that a little bit of motion by, uh, by wiggling the cement around. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I've got some this little piece of gravel. And I've got them in this little pot, river through some water in here for me. And these are just being used as spacers uh, so that I can set them down into the cement. So that way you don't have the rock right directly on the rock below. And, and the reason for that is mostly just cosmetic. Put a little bit more cement on top of those guys. Because the, the, the stone is going to have spaces on the sides, and it's nice to have spaces above and below as well. Alright, so this is going to set right in, and the important thing here is to try to make it so that the face is kind of roughly flush with how far out the other faces are. Because some of these are thicker, some of them are thinner, and that looks pretty good to me. Uh, before I before I put the brick to retain it though, just want to kind of push in here, get the, the cement. I don't care if this looks beautiful on the front. I'm going to be coming back later and filling in all these cracks. But what I do want to do is just get this concrete to kind of be up and in contact with the stone above so that I, you know, it actually sticks in there. Okay, there we go. Notice I have cardboard down here because I was doing some dripping. All right, and that's pretty good like that. Now the last thing I'll do for that stone is just uh, get some concrete, not, not really aiming for the top, mostly back behind it. I want to get some concrete into the back there so that this stone can not only be attached to the stone below it, but also to uh, the metal mesh here. And again, same kind of thing. Just a jiggle motion, and that gets the concrete to flow right down in here. And it doesn't matter if it gets completely filled in. You know, as long as you get a good grab, you should be fine. So that's it. Day after day after day, eventually we'll get up to the peak. That's it. Thanks for watching.